Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at, at starting sort of a, a mini big build project, if you will. And it's going to involve this drill press, this small Harbor Freight drill press I've had laying around the shop. So out in my wood shop in the garage, I've got a large radial drill press. And, and pretty much I just use this for general smaller stuff down here in the basement in my sort of maker space shop with my 3D printers and that. However, one of the things that I would like to do <clears throat> is I've been doing a little bit more CNCing, especially CNCing of softer woods. And so I have situations like this where I have this. And I'd love to have a small little drum sander to go in here. And I've got, di I've got actually different sizes of these drums uh, to go in there and run this around and have a surface and then have this hooked into dust collection and uh, also have an ability to mount my vise on here uh, on, on a sliding rail. And so in short, I want to do a mini drill press table. So for you know larger drill presses, I think you've all seen them. You can buy the commercial drill press tables. Uh, I want to create one of my own. And I'm going to do this uh, in a couple different ways, in, in, in a maker way. So I'm going to design uh, and CNC out the material. I'm going to use 3 quarter inch Melmine for that, and I'll explain that. Uh, later and what I'm going to do is it's actually going to be three pieces and we're going to put it together and I'm going to come up with a base to increase the surface area because it does this one wobble a little bit and this table it's sitting on you know the noise I want to isolate it so I'm going to dampen it so what I'm going to do is this is going to be a combined uh, CNC 3d printed laser cut project so Probably CNC will be the biggest part, uh, followed by 3D printing, and then followed up by laser cutting. So what we're going to do is we're going to CNC out uh, four components. So the table will be made of three components. The base will be made of a component. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll uh, bond these together, so between drills and uh, epoxy, because we want it to be airtight because we're going to have a, a, a downdraft into our dust collection system. So as I'm doing this, you know, because this is one of the things, I try to keep this space clean. I do all the woodworking out in my garage shop, uh, or try to, but, you know, for doing some of the lighter stuff, sanding, you know, like this, or, or plastic, it just would be handy to have something down here. And hooking this into my centralized dust collection system, which picks up from the CNC over there, just seems like a natural and I also do have another band saw which I'm going to tie into the dust collection over there. Primarily I cut metal because I've got a metal cutting lathe behind uh, the drill press and then I use the band saw with the metal blade to cut uh, metal bar stock for the lathe. Um, so it does make some and then I connect that in and so I'll also connect this in and so to pick up the dust from the wood or plastic or whatever I want to sand or do and then I can take this out use my vise to do more precision drilling, etc. So we're going to do that, and then the 3D printing part is I'm going to print uh, some pretty big TPU feet for the base to transfer or prevent the transfer of vibration to this tabletop because I'm going to make a bigger base to give this more stability and then set it on those TPU feet. And then I'm going to create a variable size insert so as I use different ones of these on the 3D printer then I'll be able to shim this out, just switch them. There'll be little collars that will fall into the hole. And, uh, you know, so it doesn't provide a lot of wobble and it creates a large suction around here. So it'll easily pull in whatever dust is created by this. And then also for the fence, the brackets will also be 3D printed and the thumb screws. Um, because what we'll do is we'll use uh, T-Track in here to... Uh, create the movement. So one, one of the things, if you're going to do this too, you know, make sure you kind of line up these holes on this, this vice table, line up with the holes on this vice. I mean, they're, they're specific distance. So you want to have your T-track, just a little hint here, matching up to, to, to these. And so you can put other accessories on your T-track and slide back and forth. Um, the final thing is, for when I'm using it as a drill press or a flat table, I'm going to laser cut. I made the uh, center hole offset by 3 millimeters, so I can take a piece of 3 millimeter plastic, laser cut it, and set it in there to plug it off, and then it'll be a perfectly smooth flat table. 
So again, I'm going to use CNC, 3D printing, laser cutting to make this. So let's go ahead and kind of see the layout now. And, and again, I'm going to do this as a multi-part series. So um, we're going to now jump into the computer, take a look at the designs. I designed this out in Inkscape. I uh, processed it and cut 2D for the CNC and then obviously created G-code, which I ran in the G-code sender. So as we do each part, we'll, we'll take a look at how I made each part, and then we'll look at the assembly process of how it goes together. So I'm envisioning probably about five or six episodes. I want to keep the episodes relatively short. Um, and, and I will put the files out, <clears throat> excuse me, out online so you can download them if you, you want to make this for your, you know, it, it should work for, you know, long story short, any type of small... Um, drill press because all the hole spacings are standard and everything and it's designed to be cut on a relatively small CNC. I'm going to be doing it on my uh, uh, probotic Fireball V90 and so you, if you have a CNC you can make it yourself or you could even use it as a template and cut it out with, with hand tools either way. So uh, I want to show you know not only how to do it but also share a bit of the logic of of the design process that went to it into it and that's why I'm going to try to keep it in shorter segments I'm going to uh, also kind of focus in the segments of not only you know put bolt A into nut B however why did I do it this way you know because one of the things I did when I when I decided to do this I sat down and I thought how, how should I do this how should I create the manifold for the dust collection uh, how do I offset it for you know to clear this table how should I do the vibration transfer in the base? Uh, how should I bolt it together for the best versatility? So all those things went into the design. It wasn't just, oh, you know, let's cut a piece of wood and, you know, you know bolt it on there. Um, for, to get the most functionality, there was a lot of thinking. And that's, again, what this series is going to be about, is the thinking as well as putting together the projects. And that's why, like I said, I'm going to keep it to about six, six episodes. I want to keep it to around 10, 15 minutes an episode. And then you can kind of watch through at your leisure. And then if you have sort of a question or an idea, because each piece is different, you can go back to that particular uh, list. And, and, and I'll probably throw them in the, its own playlist, too. So uh, called the Mini Drill Press Project. And you can go back and reference that. And, or if you run across it in the future on the Internet, on YouTube, you can come and see it. So enough said. Let's go to the computer. Let's take a look at the Inkscape files, why I designed it this way, and then we'll go from there. Okay, welcome back. Well, we took a look at the actual physical drill press. Now, the next piece I want to talk about is how we actually drew this out. So, here is the top of the table, and this is actually where I started with most of this, and I kind of walk you guys through this. And, and again, I'll put the, um, the files out on the internet, too, so if you can download these. So, what I did is I started with the table itself. So, you notice in the red here that I've designed the table in. And then also, importantly, the location of the uh, slots for the vice slots as well as the center slot. And, and this is important because, again, notice I've matched the T-tracks up to those slots. I, because as you'll see in the videos going forward, the vices and stuff are sort of set on the standard or whatever this distance is. I can't remember off the top of my head. And so, anyways, the this is kind of what you need to do so if you want your vices and everything to line up is to make sure you match this the other piece I did is um, is in doing this is this inter the this inner and outer circle here so one of the things that you'll see as we go ahead and build this I've built in a little bit of a lip about a three millimeter deep lip so I can put in collars to accommodate different size drum sanders with this so this was kind of an important piece and this is really needed because what I'll do is I'll actually do a pocket between these two pieces between these two rings and then I'll cut out this this center ring now you'll notice that also the um, smaller uh, p um, pilot holes that will hold the, uh, which I'll receive wood screws to hold this together, have two circles. And again, I first do a pocket to recess the head, and then I do a, you know, basically I do a drill operation to knock a hole in there so everything lines up. Now, this is my starting place for everything. This, this, these holes in this diagram and I'll cascade this down to the various pieces and we'll look at those in a second. I just want to finish up to where I've also as part of this 
designed in the fence to make sure everything aligns. So you notice all my grid lines and all that uh, all align. So from this, this will form the top of our table. Then what will happen is we will need a middle piece of the table because we'll knock this opening out here uh, to create a void so we can connect a vacuum because now you start seeing the the vacuum hole where we'll connect to our dust collection system start to appear here as we knock out layers. So the, this layer is pretty simple. It'll just have this bigger hole and these four um, pilot holes again cascading through so everything aligns. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the bottom profile and here the bottom profile you'll see the inch and a half dust port uh, for it and then again I've left the tables lined up. Now you'll notice these screws. These screws are important too or holes I should say for bolts because these will mount to the table so that's why it's aligned like this and so again I've left the table red so I can see what it is and then I just drop the table for uh, importation into cut 2D. Uh, the other thing that I've done is I've also built a base, so uh, I want a little bit extra rigidity or stability. I probably better put for the drill press itself since I'm going to be torquing on it. So I've also designed a base, and long story short, we have an outer area here which will pocket so to recess the heads, and then uh, we have an inter. Um, cut here that will actually remove the material for the bolts to go through so we can adjust it on this. Uh, probably a little bit of overkill here because I, I did I end up putting um, TPU feed on this so I could have left it flush and saved the time of the pocket but it, it just looks better and more finished that way either way. So then what we did from here is is we and I won't go into all the different pieces but um, just to kind of show you we also drop this stuff into cut 2d so let's just open up cut 2d real quick and I will go through each one however we we brought this into Vetrix cut 2d and you can you can kind of see how everything comes together so I'm pocketing out the um, t-track and then again I'm pocketing this area out and cutting this out uh, again, I've got pocket and drill functions because I'm going to pull this open over here so you can see, you know, uh, you know, cut center, pocket rails, cut out fence, cut out table. So again, we can, you know, you can see how this all kind of goes through and comes together. And I've done all, you know, all the other pieces in similar fashion in cut 2D. So now the next thing is let's go make all this happen so again I've put together a couple series I'm not sure what they'll quite be uh, as when I edit them all together probably at least um, two to three more videos on top of this as we assemble do the base we do the base table assembly uh, the finished table assembly and likely the fence assembly so and then show you it all working and hook it up to the dust collection system that we've already built so again if you found this handy please stay tuned for more of this again I'll put these files these files will be up on the internet if you want to download them do your own uh, just use them as inspirational stuff hey great um, but uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, more coming. Cheers, see you in the next Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.